Good morning, Jason Sen from Day Trade Ideas on Friday the 6th of December. It's non-farm payroll day today. Uh, we um, had a video earlier in the week warning that there was uh, some profit taking likely in the stock markets. Uh, S&P, yeah, we're looking at the moment daily chart. We saw this negative candle here on the 29th of November and then the break below the trend line, which was further confirmation that we'd we're going to see some weakness follow and of course we did continue lower uh, we suggested some light profit taking well the S&P got as far as 1777 just uh, above this Fibonacci support level here at 1772 which we would suggest will probably hold the downside at this stage so if we do see any further selling pressure today just watch the low 70s and and see if we can hold that level I think we probably can but um, you're gonna have to have fairly tight stops in the high 60s because if we do uh, break lower there is a chance we could go as far as 17, the mid 17, 1740s uh, next week. Um, so just watch that carefully. Um, if we do, if we do hang on to seven, the low 1770s, as I hope, we could start to build a recovery, perhaps into the end of the month, and maybe see the end, an end of year rally, and perhaps even retest these uh, all-time highs at 1812. We'll just have a look at the short-term chart, see what's going on there. We got we got quite oversold after that sharp sell-off in the week, and as I say, we bounced from 1777 just above the the mid to low 1770 support area. Maybe that's as far as we go. Maybe we'll st we will already start to build that um, uh, end of year recovery and, and retest those all-time highs at 1812. Um, just looking forward, we would be looking for a potential double top there and and maybe a more significant sell-off at the start of next year. But we'll worry about that nearer the time. Um, in the meantime, as I say. Uh, just watch the low 1770 area today and um, look for a bounce, but uh, keep stops tight in the, in the high 1760 area. Uh, Eurostocks was another one we warned about earlier in the week. In our video, you can see here the um, Eurostocks had a double top uh, through November. Well, we waited for that as a sell signal, and once it did, uh, we warned our clients that this is probably going to come lower, and indeed it came sharply lower. Um, breaking this trend line which goes back to June so quite a long term trend line really a uh, good five six month trend line and once that was broken the following day it acted perfectly as resistance very much textbook technical analysis stuff and we sank to the next Fibonacci support level in the low 2950s we overran only very slightly to 2945 so um, we're just holding above that 29 uh, 50 area now and it's looking a little bit more positive not so much on the daily chart you can see on the stochastics at least there's more downside room but in the short term on the four hour chart we have now got very oversold so unless there's some any disastrous number uh, out of the states today uh, we could we could uh, start to climb higher perhaps that's the end of the correction we could continue higher build a recovery into the end of the month just be aware that if we do break below the 2950s, we do have a target of the of the in the low 2900 area, the 2910, 2905 area. There you see the 100-day moving average, and there's also some Fibonacci support there. So um, don't be don't be surprised to see a very sharp drop, another uh, 40 points or so, if we do start to break below this week's low of 2945. Just to finish off on the DAX, uh, of course, that's followed all the other stock markets. Lower has got hit quite hard with this uh, indecision candle. There was a, an initial warning that we were going to see some profit taking, and of course, we did continue lower, um, maybe a little bit further than expected. We thought this trend line here around the 91.10 area would hold the downside, but it hasn't, and we've continued lower. Yesterday, we broke below the trend line. Uh, we didn't break below the the uh, low on Wednesday of 90.66, but. Uh, we are sitting below that trend line, so this is slightly more of a worry. If if we don't close above 91.10 uh, tonight on the weekly close, that is going to signal some more weakness next week. And of course, if we break, break below this week's low at 90.66 today on the non-farm number, we could tumble pretty fast. Um, down to 90.10, I've got us quite good support. Um, and we could see a low for the day there at 90.10, perhaps a low for the correction, and we could start to build a rally again, as I've said, in the other markets into the end of the year and see if we double top out at the 94 25 30 area um, if we if 90 10 doesn't hold then we're looking at that the mid 89 area perhaps even as low as 89 17 there's a little bit of fib support there but um, um, back above 9200 is, is certainly more positive we've got a fib there and that would take us above the trend line so um, and then we, I'd feel a bit more confident that we can continue to build into a rally into the end of the month and uh, hopefully we test that uh, 94 20, 20 30 area and again I'd be looking for a double top there potentially and perhaps uh, more selling pressure into next year thanks very much good luck over the non-farm number today I'm Jason Sen at daytraderdeers.com